Well, hello friends. This video is going to be short and sweet, showing you how to fix that missing trader situation in Alpha 21 Seven Days to Die. If you're on the old console version, sorry, this will not work as there is no way to recover there. So it only applies to the PC version. First of all, go to your trader compound. What happens once in a while is that instead of say our beautiful Jen here, this spot is empty, as if she's gone on holiday. You might still hear her speak, but she's nowhere to be found. This just happened on my community server, forcing me to go and fix it manually. Sometimes it's because the traders fall through the ground, at least in previous versions, and sometimes they just vanish. Of course, she's still here, so pretend she's not. But what you want to do is go into the command console, and normally that is to by hitting F1, as you can see here. If you're in single player, that's enough. If you're on a server, you do need to type DM for debug mode, which will only work if you're on admin. If and on a server, you need to go into app data, the game folder, down to saves, and put yourself in the server admin on XML. If you don't know how to do that, check out one of my dedicated server setup guides for further details. Regardless, after that, and again, if you are in single player, you don't actually need to do that. As I'm going to show, you see debug menu off. But either way, while you can spawn a new trader manually, and I will show that in just a bit, positioning them can be a little bit tricky. So it's much easier to just use the chunk reset command, CR for short. In this case, simply type CR F in the command console you saw everything blinked and we actually got a new trader that's it the trader was regenerated along with the whole pui and you'll actually see that that there's actually multiple traders here there's two traders actually they're small because i typed the command a few times off camera uh, you'll actually see that there's multiple traders here so you don't want to do this unless the trader is gone otherwise you get this weird having multiple traders facing in and out of themselves and if i do this now again while i'm multiple you see it blink just very quickly you see one flip back into her and oh we're back at having only one the game i guess recovered so it is a, a good way to recover when the trader is fully gone if you want to see what cr does the chunk reset command you basically just hit help cr and it will give you the information and it can be used to reset the pis or just areas out in the map but that's a little bit for another video now let's say you want to manually put down another trader let's say you have gen there but you want to have a twin you need to go into DM mode, even if you're on a single player, and then hit F6. That'll bring up the spawn menu, and we do a search. And oh, we're gonna do a search here for Jen. We're gonna see the trader Jen. We're gonna go to static spawner. If you do keep it on dynamic spawner like this, it will vanish, or she will vanish when you shut down the game. So do a static one, and it will keep. And then we just hit What's spawn, your, uh, and we'll see. Under the weather. We have another Jen. Just what the Her twin. Ordered. Nice. Who doesn't like to have multiple gens? The evil twin and the nice twin, maybe. Who knows? But that's how quick and easy it is to fix this situation. And let's hope that doesn't happen to you too often. But when it does, you'll be glad at least that you know how to fix it. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribing if you enjoyed this guide. Until next time, Survivor.